What is happening YouTube? Steve with Rake and Profit at rakeandprofit.com. Coming back to you with another video. And in today's video, I wanted to give you three hands-on tips that you could use on a daily basis to avoid procrastinating in your business. And as you know, procrastinating is the killer of accomplishment, the killer of success, and you really gotta be taking action on a daily basis in your business. As you know, if you wanna keep moving forwards and making strives towards progression and success and all that good stuff. So with that being said, I wanna give you three tips that I use on a daily basis to avoid procrastinating. All right, tip number one to avoid procrastinating in your business is to take a minute to write down all the things that you know you need to do and start with the smallest, the easiest task first. So figure out what's gonna be the most simple, figure out what's gonna be the easiest, the most minuscule task, and the point of doing this is to start building some momentum, to start getting you feeling good, to start crossing off some things on your to-do list, and before you know it, you're gonna put a smile on your face, you're gonna build some momentum, and you're gonna be ready to start tackling those big tasks, those things that really make a difference in your business. Tip number, tip number two for avoiding procrastination in your business is to really take a second and think about what the consequences are gonna be if you actually decide not to do what you know you need to do. I mean, a lot of times we just let our emotions and our feelings get to us and we say, you know what, I'm not doing this, I don't feel like it, I'm tired, I'm sleepy, this and that, but you don't really take a second to think, well, if I don't do these 10 listings, well, I'm not gonna sell as much, I'm not gonna make as much, I'm not gonna reach my goals, you know, and then you don't really think about the feelings that you're gonna have that are gonna come if you don't accomplish your goals. So I mean, really take a second, take out a pen and paper and write down the pros, the cons, the good and bad. What's gonna happen if you decide to take action and what's the consequence is gonna be if you don't take action? And tip number three, and this helps a lot, when you're really not in the mood to do something and you're procrastinating and you don't feel like doing it, acknowledge it. Acknowledge that you don't feel like doing it and take 15 to 20, maybe a half hour to go on a run, to put on some really good music, to do something to get yourself in a good mood, to get yourself inspired. Because, you know, a lot of times we procrastinate because we're just not feeling good about ourselves. We're feeling down for some reason. We're making up excuses. So get yourself in a really good mood. Get yourself in the right phase. Put a smile on your face and then take a second to look at what you need to do. And I guarantee that you're gonna be feeling better. You're gonna be ready to take action and start making progress in your business. So hopefully those three tips helped. Hopefully you start to take these tips and use them on a daily basis to avoid procrastination because taking action is the most important thing in your business and it's gonna help you to keep reaching success. So if you liked the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check me out at Facebook and Twitter at Rake and Profit and head over to my blog for awesome cool content at rakeandprofit.com. Have a great day and go make that money.